Welcome to this week's Hymn of the Week. This week we have Glory to God, number 164, down Galilee's slow roadways. This is a beautiful tune, and the notes in Glory to God state, when reviewing baptismal resources with other members of the United Church of Canada's working unit on worship, the author was struck by how few hymns had been written for adult baptism. So this was obviously a text that was included because they, we wanted to, uh, the church, and those putting the hymnal together, according to God, most likely wanted to focus on the idea and importance of adult baptism. And uh, it's a reminder that there is still time. You know, there's still a chance uh, to be baptized. You don't have to uh, be only young to be baptized. It can happen at any time. And uh, this is a beautiful text that uh, brings that to light. Now, what's interesting is the text by Sylvia G. Dunstan was matched with other tunes over the years, but this tune by John D. Horman is an absolute winner. I mean, it plays so nicely on the piano and the C9 chords with a crushed kind of feel or a clash uh, that gets resolved. Um, it's very colorful, uh, but it's also powerful, meaningful, and poignant uh, going with the theme of adult, of adult baptism. So we have John D. Horman, right? The composer, he taught in the Maryland school system for um, I don't know if I wrote down how many years. I'm thinking 43 years, uh, but that might be his church position. He's taught, taught uh, for many years in Montgomery County in the Maryland schools, and then 43 years served at Warner Presbyterian Church in Kensington, Maryland. And obviously here uh, is very likely, I think, where this uh, music was created uh, or at this time frame. He also served on the Presbyterian Association of Musicians Board of Directors, or the Board of PAM. And so he just recently retired, in fact, has been at First Congregational UCC in Washington, D.C. July 1st, 2021, he retired. He has an excellent website uh, that uh, gives some information about the hymns he wrote. I think we'd be really surprised uh, about this uh, composer and how much we may have already heard his music. Uh, this is an absolute beautiful pairing with the text and uh, no more needs to be said except to sing it uh, down Galilee slow roadways. Oh, 
I added those interludes because I feel that the text needs more reflection. In fact, I would encourage you, if you do have the Glory to God hymnal, uh, to turn to 164 and read that text, particularly that verse 3. We too have found a roadway. It led us to this place. We all have had to travel in search of hope and grace. But now beside this water, again a voice is heard. You are my own, my chosen, beloved of your Lord. Thank you so much, Sylvia G. Dunstan, for this absolute fabulous text. And thank you all for listening to Hymn of the Week.